Welcome to week 6 in Ethics and Leadership in Nursing. One cannot talk about ethics without talking about leadership, management or nursing practice. Since being a junior student nurse, you have been a leader, either on a task delegated to you or as a senior student being in charge of a side room, group of patients, administrating medications or preparing patients for procedures. No matter the level of education in a task delegated to a nurse, ethics is a part of that, even if you do not or don't understand what ethics entails. Here, leadership of any level or position will expose you to be ethical in your behaviour. As a professional nurse, you will be the leader of a team. As such, you will be responsible and accountable for your own and those you supervise. This week emphasized the fact that nurses can never stop learning, especially being leaders or managers in nursing. Continuous learning requires nurses to reflect on their competencies in relation to the changes occurring in society and in the health environment. As a result of that reflection, take action to acquire and develop new competencies. Continuing nursing education develops and enhances competencies significantly. Enjoy this week with me as we explore new knowledge and deepen our understanding on our way to becoming ethical professional nurses.